Hello, Emma. Could you explain the structure and function of heart valves? Absolutely. Heart valves, or valvi cordis, play a crucial role in ensuring one-way blood flow through the heart chambers. Let's dive into their anatomy and function. Heart valves consist of fibrous leaflets covered by endocardium, attaching to the fibrous rings of the heart skeleton. They are stronger in the atria than in the ventricles, particularly robust in the left side of the heart. How do atrioventricular valves differ from semilunar valves? Atrioventricular valves, found between the atria and ventricles, prevent blood backflow into the atria during ventricular contraction, systole. Their closure marks the first heart sound, audible due to their fibrous ring support and cordy tendony, which anchor to papillary muscles to prevent valve inversion. What about semilunar valves? Semilunar valves, located at the exits of the ventricles and the great arteries, include the aortic and pulmonary valves. They consist of three cusps that prevent blood from flowing back into the ventricles during relaxation, diastole. Their closure produces the second heart sound. How do these valves function mechanically? Each semilunar cusp is reinforced internally by fibrous tissue and forms a half-moon shape that ensures tight closure against the vessel walls. They open when ventricular pressure exceeds arterial pressure and close when ventricular pressure drops post-contraction. Could you explain the differences between the tricuspid and mitral valves? The tricuspid valve, between the right atrium and right ventricle, has three leaflets, anterior, septal, posterior, while the mitral valve, between the left atrium and left ventricle, has two, anterior and posterior. Both are vital in maintaining unidirectional blood flow through the heart. Are there any clinical implications related to heart valves? Indeed, conditions like valvular stenosis or regurgitation can occur, affecting valve function. For instance, mitral valve prolapse or aortic stenosis can lead to inefficient blood flow and may require surgical intervention to repair or replace the affected valve. What additional structures support valve function? The heart's fibrous skeleton, composed of dense connective tissue, provides structural support for the valves and attachment points for cardiac muscle. This arrangement ensures the coordinated opening and closing of valves throughout the cardiac cycle. Thank you for explaining that. Could you summarize the main points about heart valves? Heart valves regulate blood flow through the heart, with atrioventricular valves preventing backflow from the ventricles to the atria and semilunar valves ensuring blood flows in one direction from the ventricles to the arteries. Their proper function is essential for maintaining cardiac output and overall cardiovascular health. What is the role of the heart skeleton, skeleton cortis? The heart skeleton provides essential support, ensuring the heart stays compact during its movements and experiences less mechanical strain. It consists of dense fibrous tissue and includes various fibrous rings known as annuli fibrosi. What are these fibrous rings used for? Each fibrous ring supports a specific heart valve, the annulus aorticus for the aortic valve, which is triple bent like a garland, the annulus fibrosus trunci pulmonalis for the pulmonary valve, the annulus fibrosus dexter for the tricuspid valve, and the annulus fibrosus sinister for the bicuspid, mitral, valve. Could you explain the structure of the trigonum fibrosum? Certainly. The trigonum fibrosum is a triangular fibrous area formed between these rings. The trigonum fibrosum dextrum lies between the annulus fibrosus dexter, sinister, and aorticus, providing passage for the fasciculus atrioventricularis, which facilitates the electrical impulse transmission between the atria and ventricles. How does this affect the heart's electrical activity? The heart's electrical insulation is crucially maintained by structures like the Tadero's tendon and the trigonum fibrosum. Tadero's tendon connects the posterior part of trigonum fibrosum dextrum to the valve of the inferior vena cava, playing a role in the electrical isolation of the atria and ventricles, ensuring synchronous electrical signal propagation. What about the ligamentum infundibuli? The ligamentum infundibuli is a fibrous band between the pulmonary trunk and the aorta, limiting torsional movements and ensuring proper alignment during heart contractions. It extends from the trigonum fibrosum dextrum to the annulus aorticus and annulus trunci pulmonalis. How do the laminae fibrosi contribute to heart function? 
Lamini fibrosi asterisk are fibrous plates supporting the valves and the membranous part of the septum in the atria and ventricles. They separate the myocardium of the atria and ventricles, preventing the spread of electrical impulses between these chambers. What is the significance of the fila coronaria? The fila coronaria, found in both the mitral and tricuspid valves, are projections embedded in the sulcal connective tissue. They play a role in anchoring these valves securely within the heart structure. So, these structures ensure the heart functions efficiently? Exactly. The intricate network of fibrous tissues and rings, along with specialized tendons and ligaments, forms a structural foundation that supports the valves, isolates electrical impulses, and ensures the heart's mechanical integrity and efficient function.